We have both been there for each other during the tears and the laughter, and we know that we will continue to share memories forever after. We have talked about weddings and being each other's maid of honor since day one. We just needed a man to make that dream come true. <laughs> then Nick entered Em's life, and it all became clear. There's a girl named Emily Ann. I love her the best that I can. She's my little girl, my number one fan, at least till she's grown and finds a new man. Nick, we did it. We're getting married finally. It's just a few short hours. We'll be making the long commitment to each other. You're that new man my dad spoke about, and I couldn't be happier. I know my dad would approve. I love you. Do you want to turn around? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're beautiful. You're so beautiful. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. 
It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or service, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. <laughs> though I think she does. Uh, it is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. And from that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal all those conversations that were held riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those sentences that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will, those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of the wedding. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. For after these vows, you will say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I always liked you. As soon as I met you, I liked you. You had a good heart. Woo. <laughs> we quickly became friends and I liked you even more. I was always excited to see you. I liked you as a person, and that like quickly grew into love. I feel the same way to this day, except I like you even more. <laughs> Emily Ann, M, Emmy, Ember, Emski, lover, best friend, my foundation, my whole world, my wife. I've thought about this moment where I could call you my bride for a long time, and I couldn't have imagined how sweet the words would be. You've been my best friend, my lover, my partner, my opponent, my exploring buddy, and more recently my travel companion. But you are so much more. I can't wait to see what else we become to each other over this lifetime. You are my home and my greatest adventure all in one. And you're my rock, and I owe everything that I am and everything that we've created to you. When we met all those years ago, you put your faith in me during a time where I didn't have faith in myself. It's really amazing how one day someone walks into your life and you cannot imagine them not being there. Things won't always be awesome. I will not be the perfect wife. I will disappoint you. I will frustrate you. And I will get hangry. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and although I'm not perfect and at times the road will be rough, I promise to make our marriage the most important thing in my life. I promise to never bring work home with me, which means giving you my best instead of giving you what's left over after giving my best to everyone else. I promise to never go to bed angry and to try my hardest to resolve issues before we put our heads down on the pillows. I promise to wave goodbye at the window when you leave each and every time so that way you'll always know you have a safe place to come back to. I promise not to let being hangry ruin our plans. <laughs> I promise to do my best to speak kindly of you and to you. I promise to listen with an open heart and mind. I promise to encourage you to be your best self at whatever cost. I will be your safe space. I promise to quickly and completely forgive you. I promise to make time for you and us. I promise to cultivate patience through rough times. I promise to be your girlfriend and date you as well as be your wife. I promise to never stop improving myself and becoming a better person. I promise to learn from you and with you. And I promise to love you as you are and try to understand who you are at this very moment, every moment. They say that a good marriage is one where each partner secretly suspects that they themselves got the better deal. It's no secret. <laughs> I got the better deal. I promise to always listen to your feelings and help you through any stress that you may have. I promise to always remember that we're on the same side and never against each other. 
I promise to cherish all the small moments in life as they're the pieces to a whole and happy marriage. And finally, I promise to love you unconditionally each and every day and to treat you with the love and respect that you've always deserved. I speak these vows as not merely a promise, but also a privilege. I resolve to update these vows as we venture through life side by side, because one set of vows cannot possibly cover a lifetime of growing, changing, and fall falling even more in love with you every day. All I ask is to cultivate a marriage more beautiful than this wedding. <laughs> to say that I gained Nick Ponomarov as a friend, a confidant, and a brother. I could tell he was the one for her by the way she spoke about him with a smile that she couldn't wipe off her face. And I know your dad isn't here, but he's so proud of you and all you've accomplished so far. Even though he wasn't able to meet Nick, I know he made the stars align to get you two together. In the time I've known Emily, I can honestly say that I can't think of anyone better for one of my best friends to marry. Nick and Emily, I thank God all the time that both of you are in my life, and I look forward to many more years of friendship and memories with you.
power vested in me in the Universal Life Church Ministries, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.